guys, my name is Mathis, just in case you didn't know that already, but um, I'm going to do a, a mini book haul for November. So um, I received a package, my first YouTube package. I was When I received this, I was so excited. I don't know why I was excited, but you know, this, I always wanted to receive a package from YouTube. I don't know. I just want it from you guys. So this is my first YouTube package from Joe. Um, Joe Reads Books. So I, I decided to open it on camera. So here it goes. The namesake. Uh, by Jumpa Jumpa Lahiri, uh, she sent this to she sent this to me because um, she had reached a hundred viewers, and so she gave this to me. At, I guess I was one of the people that um, that she picked because she she had this little contest thing, and yeah, and I won this off her. Um, you know, off her channel. So thank you, Joe, for sending me the namesake. Also, the reason why she sent this to me is because she knew that I, I'm into um, South Asian literature. So um, yeah, and plus this is my favorite book. I love this book. Uh, I read it, uh, I would say about six years ago. And I, I've, been to I've been to India in 2006 and I loved it and when I got back from India I read this book and um, I just fell in love with the people I just loved it uh, it's about a, a first generation um, guy he grows up in a, in a westernized uh, country and he had a it's like a battle between tradition and so um, I just find out life so interesting how, you know, how South Asians, first generation South Asians is brought up in a Western society and they are trapped between worlds, you know, tradition and living in the West. So I find that quite interesting. So I feel in love with this book and um, just because of this book, I actually interned uh, this year at a South Asian magazine called Enoki, this is the magazine here, and um, they deal with South, first generation South Asians, and they tell their stories, and um, they also like interview people that are South Asian in 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 America, and so this like you know tells a lot of South Asian first generation South Asian stories. They also talk about Bollywood as well, but the main focus on this first generation um, um, South Asians. So I, I really love this magazine. It was great working there. And uh, yeah, pick up this magazine. If, you know, it's, it's so everywhere. So check it out if you really into, um, you know, to, if you want to learn more about the culture and what first generation South Asians, what they go through. So I really love this magazine. It's very glamorous. It was very glamorous working there. I really loved it. Um, but yeah, thank you for sending me this book. I will read this again. I will also do a review on this book. It's been a while. Um, I've seen the movie and I love the movie as well, but it's been a while since I've read this book. So I'll probably do a review on it. But I gave this five stars. I really, it really got me into the culture. And I picked up Americana. I don't know why I picked this up from the library, to be honest with you. I kind of do know. You guys uh, keep talking about this book. And keep y'all keep saying that it's a really good book. So I decided to pick it up. Hopefully it's a good book. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to read this because it is a pretty thick book. Look, look at there it's pretty thick and I'm not really into really huge um, stories and plus this is set in um, Africa and I'm not too familiar with um, you know stories set in like Nigeria well hmm. I do like stories set in Africa but this is I don't know I don't know 
Um, but it also takes place, I think it also takes place in America as well. So, um, only time I read books that, that's in Africa is if this is like an autobiography. I really like books like that. But when it comes to stories, I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, but I might give this a try. Uh, the, next, the next book that I picked up from the library is She of the Mountains by uh, Vivek Sharaya. Now, he is, um, this is his first novel. And I know you guys, not, you know, you probably never heard of him before because, you know, like I said, this is his first novel. He's, um, you know, he talks about, he got this other book out called, um, God Loves Hair. It's like a coming of age short story. And uh, I read that and I loved it. It's about uh, growing up gay and, 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 and being Indian. And I like stories like that because you don't hear a lot of stories about uh, South Asians growing up gay. So he writes about that. But I'm not quite sure this book... Oh, that's my phone. Interrupting. But yeah, anyway, um, he writes about, um, this is about Hindu mythology, and it's like a story surrounding or around that. So, I'm pretty sure he got some sex, uh, something, I bet he talks about sexuality in this book. So, um, yeah, i probably read this, and yeah, I met him once before, he's a really cool guy. The next book I picked up is Detroit by Charlie LaDuff. Now, uh, I'm from Detroit, just, just in case you guys didn't know. I live in Toronto. I moved here uh, seven years ago. And so, um, I, I should do an introduction video because you guys even don't know much about me. But yeah, I moved here. And so, I decided to pick this up because Detroit is going through some hard times right now. So. I thought it was giving me a little bit of insight on how Detroit became what it is today. So yeah, so I picked this up. So uh, I like to read books like this. So that's about it. So yeah. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys later. And oh yeah, don't forget I'm going to link my Instagram, my Facebook, and what else in my Twitter uh, links below this video so be sure you got you guys follow me on those uh, social media si uh, websites and yeah I'll talk to you guys later bye